Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs. 1 replay cast. Today we're going to have ourselves a Terran vs. Zerg on Lost and Found. It's actually been a while since I did just like a straight up 1v1 replay cast, so I'm glad to get on into it, and I thought I just had to cast this game. So it's a Terran vs. Zerg, and the main reason why I'm casting this game is this guy here in the top right hand side of the map. It's Dong Regu. Now I do want to put a sort of like note that I can't say for 100% sure that this is Dong Regu, because, I mean, sometimes players play under different accounts and things like that, but Dong Regu is confirmed to be back to StarCraft 2, and he's playing he's playing at a high level. He's around rank 30 on the Korean GM ladder, around 6200 MMR, and that's where this account is at. And uh, as But this replay didn't come exactly from the horse's mouth, but we're pretty sure it's him. But if we find out it's not, I'll definitely uh, correct that, but... Spawning down the bottom left-hand side of the map, it's Root Supernova. So I'm excited to watch to see how Dong Regu is going to be playing. Now, uh, how's he adapting to the current current level of the meta? And I'm sure he'll be playing in more tournaments and stuff coming up in the future. Just really wants to polish his play first. But, you know, it's sort of hard to resist seeing a game of his and not casting it. So we'll see how he's going to play. Uh, it's a Terran versus Zerg, lost and found. I mean... I mean, maybe he'll stick to some sort of older styles, what he's more familiar with, or maybe he'll play around with some of the newer stuff. I mean, he was playing back in uh, 2015 in Pro League, to my knowledge. So it's not like he's uh, it's not like he's coming back after like half a decade or anything like that. It's been like a few years, but nothing nothing super significant. Now, as far as uh, the actual game going on, I mean, uh, we are going to want to talk about what he's going up against here. It's just a standard Reaper expand coming out of Supernova so far. And then we shall see uh, what else is going to be on the way. I mean, it looks like Supernova is following it up with a Marine, going to throw up that factory. So pretty standard stuff here. And then on uh, Dong Regu's side of the map, just uh, also standard stuff. Getting out the Queens, getting out the Lings. Now, uh, yeah. So, I mean, as I was saying, there's not a 100% sure chance that this is Dong Regu. I even went to his uh, channel in which he streamed on Afrika to try and confirm with the VODs, but unfortunately the VODs were deleted, so I can't confirm that this is him, but we're, we're pretty sure it's him. Now, uh, alrighty, uh, so uh, that drone, Supernova working away on it, not going to get it though, the Lings uh, kindly show that Reaper to the door, and then uh, CC, going to be finishing up, factory finishing up and everything else along those lines. Now the Queens are going to be popping on out, it's going to be interesting to see what sort of hatch timing for a third is Dong Regu going to be taking, because... Uh, sometimes, well, in the recent meta, Zergs have been taking an even quicker hatchery, but he's actually opting to take the, take the later one, and oh my gosh, Supernova, he's going for ghosts already. So, uh, this is, this is gonna be an interesting, uh, Hellbat ghost timing build from the looks of it. This is actually something that's legit, you guys might be like, why is Supernova playing a meme build versus Dong Regu? No, this is actually a legitimate build, players have used it in professional matches, special in, uh, WCS, I believe, used it. And that's, uh, I believe, so, yeah, I mean, uh, it's like a legitimate build, not necessarily the uh, cream of the crop, but it is a good build to throw your opponents off guard. Who knows if Dong Regu has faced this before. Now, uh, so, it's basically going to be uh, Hel Hellions and then the Ghosts. The Ghosts are going to snipe the Queens, the Hellbats are going to try and deal with everything else, like if there's Roaches or anything else there. So uh, we'll just have to see, how's, how's he going to be able to deal with this? Lots of Queens coming out, which is uh, very good, I mean... Zerg players like their queens getting that creep spread and starting up a Roach Warrant, interestingly enough. So that's actually a very good defensive tool versus Hellbat attacks. The question is, will he make those Roaches? He's going pretty hard on the drones for now. But, uh, we'll see. We're showing, showing a lot of respect to this, just going for the safety Roach Warrant. I mean, it could be planned for some sort of aggression, but hey, it works the same way, as long as you uh, got the units there. Now, uh, Queen's going to show these Hellions away. But uh, Supernova, he's been building ghosts non-stop. And then uh, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hellions are coming out. I don't believe these ghosts have been scouted yet. I don't even think they were seen there. But uh, DRG is going to be coming on in here. He's going to see... He's going to see a uh, concussive shell started from Supernova. And that's actually a bit of a fake there because now Hellions and ghosts are coming on in. Dong Regu making a few roaches, but this isn't your, oh, I'm going to be in immediate danger roaches. This is your, I'm going to play somewhat safe roaches from the look of it. Now he's churning out a lot more. So he's, he definitely knows this is on the way. 
He's gonna have out a few roaches, he's gonna have out the queens. The ghosts are gonna be able to snipe away on this though, and that's pretty much two confirmed queen kills. Technically, snipe doesn't one-shot queens. So, uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, there's snipes lining up on some of the queens. There they actually go. Pardon me, do sni does snipe one-shot queens? I swear it got them almost killed. But, uh, there goes another snipe popping off that queen. They're dying regardless. But uh, yeah, it looks like uh, DRG gonna hold us, losing a lot of queens. The ghosts are gonna try and run away. That's important for Supernova because they are expensive. But uh, a lot of roaches on the way for G DRG right now. He's making six, but then he is going into a round of drones, so he is gonna macro out of this. He's not gonna go for a counterattack and try and kill his opponent. Supernova, on the other hand, following this up with mech, getting up, getting up tanks, bunkers. He's on three bases. So uh, now DRG going to be getting out of Spire, which is, I think, a pretty good choice in this situation. But uh, we'll just have to uh, wait and see how it's going to line up, whether Supernova will make something like Thors or Vikings. I mean, uh, Ghost can always snipe mutas, but there's not too many of them here. Ghost pops off a roach there with a snipe. DRG now uh, retreating with these roaches from the look of it. Now he kind of wants to get something done, but I think there's a uh, pretty, well, pretty good defense for the Terran player here. Roach is just uh, hanging out for now. They will have a Gleal reconstitution. Forgive me, I haven't pronounced that much. It's usually just referred to as Roach Speed or Speed for the Roaches. But uh, Evo Chamber is now on the way for DRG. Supernova scans, sees the Spire. So he's likely going to be starting up a Thor. He's getting up an Engineering Bay. So he is quite prepared for this. And he's also starting up a fourth base. So he's really going into this greedy mech play. Roaches will see this fourth base. But uh, tanks, marines, and ghosts coming down to secure this. Roaches may be able to get a ghost, which would be nice. They're actually all coming on in here. They may be able to get on top of the tank, which would be nice. He's actually going to settle for getting a ghost. I believe he maybe got two there. He just got the one, but he also gets the tank. So I'd say that's a nice trade there for DRG. Meanwhile, he's spreading creep across the map. He's uh, getting up tons of drones. I'd like to see a fourth base relatively soon, and there it is. Now uh, Thor's on the way. Poor Supernova, he knows there's going to be potential mutas, but, I mean, that Spire finished up, but DRG just seems confident, going right into plenty of roaches here, getting the 1-1 one -one upgrades in order to deal with the mech, and, I mean, it could be a big attack here. We'll see. I mean, uh, Supernova getting up medivacs, though, so he's going to have Thor drops in order to help deal with potential mutas, but there's actually no mutas on the way, and, oh, I'm liking this out of DRG. Ten swarm hosts, so getting the roaches for uh, just sort of basic defense, and then he's going to follow it up with the swarm host and they're actually pretty good versus this style of mech i mean plenty of tanks and hellbats can deal with them but when it's just thors and stuff it's hard for terran to defend versus swarm host without taking losses it really does depend on the composition though sometimes mech can just absorb the locust wave and it really depends on positioning where the locusts are used all right so now just have to wait and see. Are these swarm hosts going to move on out? Fire off a locust wave. That fourth base is on the way, and it does get spotted here by this ogres here. Our forces are under attack. Well, Roach is going to pick off that Reaper. Reaper made it to eight minutes into the game, which is pretty good as far as Reapers are concerned. But uh, yeah, these swarm hosts may be able to get some good damage done. Okay, uh, Supernova getting up a lot of Hellbats. I mean, Hellbats very good versus Locust. Marine will spot these swarm hosts, but the question is, is there going to be enough here to defend this? The planetary getting up will help, and oh, actually those locusts do attack that marine, so that's a good defense, but they're still making their way on in here, and these ones are going to unload right on top of those tanks. Going to get two tanks, and here comes in all the roaches and ravagers. This planetary is going to need to be repaired. It is being repaired, but it looks like that it may be broken here by DRG. Now, there's not too many roaches and ravagers, but picking off that base is a nice one for him, and now he's actually up on supply a significant margin. Thor counterattack is getting some damage done. There's no mining going off at the fourth base for now. And uh, these Thors are going to make some work happen. Going to begin focusing down this hatchery, but uh, Roach is going to be able to get on top of these. Thors will be forced away, and there's plenty of Roaches in position to deal with this. DRG is actually pretty much just maxed on Roaches here. Command Center on the way. Okay, now the uh, Swarm Host are heading on into the third base, and there's not much here to defend for Supernova. It's like uh, these Locusts going to drop their wave. Roaches and Ravagers coming on in. Okay. 
Alright, yeah, it looks like uh, these Hellbats will be able to clean this up, but I mean, Supernova is still down on supply. The Zerg player is starting to build up a bank. Thor's trying to pick off some of these Swarm Hosts. I mean, there's no anti-air for DRG. But uh, he is going into Hive, so he's teching up. I mean, he's in a pretty comfortable spot. The fourth base being denied is absolutely huge for him. I believe there's a, a new one for Supernova on the way, but the fact that he killed that off is really huge for him. Now, the Terran mech army always has to be respected, but this is looking like a lot of Zerg right now, and we'll see. Is it going to be able to be broken? Uh, more Ravagers morphing in here. It looks like he may be going for that break with a wave of Locust. Lots of Ravagers and Roaches stepping on in. Uh, this is a plus two uh, Terran army though, so I mean these tanks are gonna pack a punch. Thor's even unloading here, try and bait some of those shots out, but I mean the Locusts are coming on in, they're getting on top of some of the tanks. Tanks still spitting out as much damage as they can. The Thor's not participating in the fight. They're actually gonna settle for going for some of the Swarm Host. Supernova does seem to hold on for now, actually trading with some of these Ravagers, nicely done. He's managing to hold on. DRG though, getting up a fifth base while this is going up, getting out some Hydra's now, which is going to help immensely, having that anti-air. These Thors can't just uh, pop around, try and pick off units left and right. Vikings in here as well, they can actually just hover around now. Supernova is trying to re-secure this fourth base, but DRG may just try and break this right now. Alright, now we'll take a look. Swarm host. Still waddling around, DRG gonna want to be as effective with this as possible. Getting up to 5th base is important. Thor counterattack was being attempted, but Hydras are now here to shoot this way. Supernova's gotta boost those guys home. But uh, now the 3rd base is gonna be under fire as these Locusts are gonna land. They're gonna get on top of the supply depot, pick those up. And it'll actually supply block Supernova there from the looks of it. And uh, Hellbats coming on in here, gonna try and deal with this. But now suddenly the Zerg's at the 4th base again. I mean, Supernova can't afford to lose another planet here, but this is a lot of Zerg right now. I mean, uh, the supplies are definitely in the favor for the Zerg player. Now, uh, Supernova is repositioning, though. I mean, he's got a lot of tanks. He's got this pretty strong Terran mech army. But uh, creeps on his door. Zerg players on five bases and getting into a greater spire. This could spell trouble for Supernova. DRG is building up a pretty large bank right now. Okay, I mean, uh, looks like we'll be seeing maybe a classic 1-2. Locust is going to be heading towards that fourth base, and it's actually very exposed. Meanwhile, the Roaches, it's Ravagers, Hydras hitting towards that third. Is Supernova going to be able to react? These Locusts are getting right on top of this planetary, and it's actually dealing so much damage there. That base just falls. No building armor. Plus two Locusts just destroy that. And now the third base is under fire here. Supernova is in a lot of trouble. Losing that CC once again is going to put him in a very tough spot. He's now going to move out. I think he may just be going for the all-in. We'll see if he's going to be able to hold on. Tanks are firing away at this army, but it may head into a bit of a pseudo-base trade for now. Supernova is pulling back, though, but this is looking pretty rough for the Terran player right now. Uh, I mean, he's going to try and hold on. Tanks getting set up. He should be able to clean up this Zerg army, but there's still a lot of Zerg out on the map. And I mean, uh, it's looking pretty rough here. Supernova may just go for it after this, and I think he is going to. He's unseaging now. Got everything going with him. He, yeah, he can't really macro here. He's gonna reland the third base, but three bases at 13 minutes is not good. Maybe he should float over his main base, but for now he's just really focusing on this attack. Picking up both the Thors as well, moving forward. I mean, it's a pretty formidable Terran army right now. It's got plus two, and that deals massive damage. Now, it is just Roach, Ravager, Hydra, Locust. So, uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, tanks very good versus this. There's a good number of Hellbats. Supernova may be able to make this push work. We'll just have to wait and see, but here comes the Zerg. Locust coming from the back, and the Hellbats are not in position to defend the tanks. DRG gonna get the full surround on this, it looks like, and it's actually a massive surround. Hydra's working away on these Liberators. Meanwhile, there's just so much Zerg here, and I think he's gonna clean it up and take the game. GG gets called. DRG does take it. Now, I'm going to go do a bit of a bit more research on this, make sure that this is actually a Dong Regu replay. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the cast. I mean, whenever I see an old player play, no matter the level, I just want to watch them play for old time's sake. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the cast, feel free to leave a subscription. Getting so, so close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content, as I'm always going to be putting out more. But yeah, thank you for watching. I shall see you guys next time.